and Communication Methodologies to Science and Nutrition Students at Campus Biomedical University in Rome. And the idea of introducing active learning in this course was not new since it was created with the goal of helping students develop soft skills like creativity, communication, critical thinking and cooperation. The so-called four C's, frequently indicated as competencies for the 21st century learners, the four C's are often embraced in theory, yet some educators in practice. The four C's strengthen our learners' ability to find their place in today's fast-changing world, either professionally or personally or socially, while fostering other life-financing C's like curiosity, confidence, caring and cooperation. Among the activities designed to help students develop these skills, brainstorming is one of the best to foster the development of creativity, communication, collaboration and, used for the evaluation of ideas, critical thinking. As a matter of fact, the term brainstorming is an umbrella including different kinds of techniques and tools used for the generation, selection and evaluation of creative ideas. In recent years, brainstorming has become a powerful tool for evaluators, social researchers and all those who intend to use the strength of a group to find ideas and solutions, to explore a concept and to detect information otherwise difficult to observe, similarly and sometimes with more effective results of the focus group. This is why I decided to implement this method in my course and I used it multiple times for different goals. Practical experience shows that, if not well structured, brainstorming sessions can easily degenerate, particularly if there are conflicts among the participants or if few of them monopolize the discussion. According to some studies, in a group of six people, two of them often manage to grab more than 60% of the attention, thus effectively inhibiting the possible participation of the other members of the group. This is an effect that amplifies as the group gets bigger. In order to avoid these issues, brainstorming sessions have to be carefully planned and implemented and some basic rules have to be respected, as indicated by Tina Selig, Professor of Creativity at Stanford University. She says, do not criticize others and do not criticize yourself. Praise and exploit anything unusual that emerges. Prefer the quantity rather than the quality of ideas. Build on the ideas of others. In my face-to-face -face lessons, I very often used working sessions or the 635 method, which is a form of group structure brainstorming. It consists of six participants who are required to write down three ideas on a specific worksheet in five minutes. This is why it is called the 635 method. The outcome after six rounds, during which participants swap their worksheets, passing them onto the team member sitting at the right is 108 ideas produced in 30 minutes. Students love this method and are astonished when they see how many ideas can be produced within a small amount of time. Brainwriting 635, differently from traditional brainstorming, assures an active participation of all the members of a group and at the same time, avoids issues of domination over introverts who are more likely to feel free of expressing their own ideas instead of risking to have their potential inhibited by those who shout louder and who dominate the brainstorming session. During the pandemic period, transferring online these activities was not difficult since there is a great variety of digital tools available for brainstorming, ranging from Google Docs to Trello, Padlet and Miro. Some of these tools, for example Padlet, give the possibility to create an online board that you can share with your student, just giving them the link. The course of Teaching and Communication Methodologies at Campus Vivendico University, students used Padlet for different goods. To post ideas 
for the possible topics of their presentations, to brainstorm ideas of the rules for these presentations, and furthermore, to collect images and resources from the web that might be useful for their work. During the pilot, I prepared the board and just indicated the link. Padlet is very easy to use. Whoever has the link can open it on its computer, tablet or smartphone, can post ideas and see what other people are writing. Padlet allows students to post ideas anonymously or with their names. The activity was repeated different times during the course that involves almost 100 students. The last 20 minutes of the lesson were devoted to illustrating the Pecha Kucha style, that is, a storytelling format where a presenter shows 20 slides, mainly composed by images rather than words, with a commentary of 20 seconds for each slide, that is, a presentation that lasts 6 minutes and 40 seconds. During the following week, students prepare their pe Pecha Kucha presentations either individually or in groups, and then uploaded them onto the platform of the university, Moodle. The intended learning outcomes for this activity were to help students gain a clear understanding of how a creative process works and experience it first -hand. Think critically and get out the most of a brainstorming session, develop effective communication abilities and techniques, and broaden collaborative opportunities in the classroom and in all the aspects of the university community. First of all, I gave students a self-assessment form in order to help them evaluate the quantity and the quality of ideas produced, that is, if these ideas were radically new or if they were connecting already existing concepts in a new way. Secondly, I asked each group to use the same form to provide feedback to the other groups. I use this as a kind of formative assessment. For the summative assessment, I took into account both the students' feedback but also an evaluation grid that I filled in considering the general quality of the presentation, the quality of the images and the quality of concept expressed, and the communication abilities of the presenters. When designing a brainstorming session, it is very important to plan everything, the time, the setting, the structure of the interaction. The most important thing is the reciprocal respect among the participants. Students must think that there are no wrong ideas and that in the divergent stage there is no need to evaluate if one idea might be feasible or not. The session must not be too short in order to allow participants to go beyond the first ideas, neither can it be too long. It is impossible to keep the productive energy necessary for a brainstorming session for more than one hour. This is why sometimes it can be useful to split longer sessions into smaller segments in which different stimuli and techniques are used. The setting where the brainstorming takes place must be carefully selected so as to allow, if possible, people to move and walk. According to a study by two Stanford professors, Opetz and Schwartz, walking helps divergent thinking and the production of creative ideas. These can be posted along the walls, setting up special spaces like blackboards, flip charts and posters. <laughs>